Aren't you guys, this is gonna be Fung Bros in Hong Kong. Like you've never seen. LAX to HKG. What? We just landed in Hong Kong. Now, we've been here several times before, but I feel like in this trip, it's gonna be something like we've never seen. Let's, Let's go. go. Normally, when we come to Hong Kong, we're with our parents, so we're doing traditional things. But today in this video, we are only showing you the hottest and trendiest spots that you've never heard about, but you need to see. First spot up, Mot 32. 32. Alright you guys, so we're at Mod 32 with some of our local friends, Sophia and Kim. Hello! I heard for the chashu, they imported the pork from Spain. I heard the hakaos <laughs> are made out of lobster. I heard the siu mai have a quail egg in it. No! Oh! Lift the baskets! Oh! Hey, yo. Got the caviar on top, got the quail egg. Decadent. How do you eat your shallow bao? Oh! That was a rookie move. That's hosting. Mm. This is like the specialty. This is what they're known for. Whoa! Mm. Becoming a liquid in my mouth. That's the Steph Curry of Chashu. Hosting! Yo, we're in East Kowloon right now in a district called Kuntong, and guess what? You've probably never been here before. This old industrial cargo unloading area is now being refreshed to become Hong Kong's hottest arts district. So we are at the cafe, which his name is uh, TFBX. It's a really hard name to say. Mo Mang, no name, I'm sure it has a name. Aesthetically, we don't usually eat food that looks this good. Yo, I thought these were those uh, fungus wood ears. Nah, it's pasta. I'm in an artistic mood. We gotta go check out the recording studio in the back. Shout out to Airplane, or the cafe. Yo, 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 I, I said Koon Tong. That's a cool city, dude. Yeah, you eating a lot of pretty food. Let's check it out. Hey. hey. Michelle, you're from Britain. Yep. Yeah. And Victoria, you're from a, a little place called San Francisco. A little place. What's your favorite thing that you've seen so far? For me, I like the spinal record player. It just, you know, brings me back to, I don't know. Your, de your days of being a DJ? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is so, like, old school looking. Kids' silhouettes don't even look like that anymore. Maybe. <laughs> They're doing this game. Just... Yeah. Alright, everybody, we're still in Kuntong Tong, and we're playing pool soccer. It's pretty self-explanatory. On my left is Team Lighter! Milk tea! On my right is Team Ling Ta! Team! They cold. Woo! Woo! Oh. Thanks for setting me up for the alley, you broski. Let's go do scratch. Oh. Hey! Let's do that. You know what you need to do? You need to hit in that purple, and then we're gonna hit in the A ball, and then it's over. Oh! All right, you guys, that about does it for Kuhn Tong. Thank you, Michelle and Victoria, for joining us, but on to the next spot. Woo! What's going on, guys? We're on Causeway Bay, which is basically sort of like the Soho or Shibuya of Hong Kong, and we are with one of the biggest tastemakers, influencers in Hong Kong, Kevin Poon. All right, well, let's go check out the shop. Yeah, let's come on in. Whoa, yo, Ooh. this space is dope. 12 years ago, when me and my partner Edison started the company, uh, we just wanted to curate stuff that was like hard to find and things that we really liked. So what do you think makes Hong Kong such a good place for something like this? There's no tax in Hong Kong, so you can shop tax-free. That's one good thing. It's a city built for consumers. It, shopping is a sport right here. <laughs> so what's the coolest thing you got in the store that you can show us? Like, have you seen these Buscemi shoes, like, tri-colorways? Yo, that's crazy. I have not. Exotic skins? Nope. <laughs> we about to go to your cafe. Yeah, let's do this. Get a coffee. We're here at Elephant Grounds Coffee. Uh, salted caramel is pretty bomb. This was a, one of the installations that they did. Shout out Quest Terranium, <laughs> first of all, my boy Tim. The level of execution of this coffee shop is so on another level. 
I mean, you got <laughs> living plants on top of you. It's pretty lit. Yo, Kevin, thank you so much for showing us your spot. If you can make it Hong Kong, you can make it anywhere. What's going on, everybody? We're on the Kowloon side of Hong Kong, and if you know anything about Fun Bros, you know that we love sneakers. You got the international Crocs, oh. the Lottos. Nike wedges for the ladies. You know, give you that extra height, and you can hoop in them, too. So we had to venture a little bit off Sneaker Street, and we're at Popcorn General Store. Now this is one of the most hidden streets where they got that new, new exclusive stuff. Not just sneakers, but this got streetwear too. Let's check it out. Yo, son, the Supreme Fun. Basically what we're trying to say is that if you like streetwear, sneakers, and sportswear, Hong Kong is one of the best places in Asia to go. Boom! Yuki, what do you think about this new implementation of Kaitansai? I think it's really unique. I really like it to go with bananas and creams and chocolate sauce. Would you say it's ho-sick? Very ho-sick. Ho, ho sick ha <laughs> ha So what are you going to do the next time you come to Hong Kong? Eat with me. So we are at Bo Innovation in Wan Tsai, Hong Kong, on the Hong Kong Island side with our friend Michelle. Hey. I heard they call it extreme Chinese. Let's do it. All right, one cheers, shot. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Whoa. But it's like it disappears in like three seconds. How close to Pei Don did it taste? It tastes more to ginger than me. I ate the foam and it was gone like, whoa. So our chef designed it after ancient drawings of the Emperor's Cup. And the way you drink this is with two hands. That is Chinese culture. And you lean back and you look at the heavens when you drink your wine. I just drank Mao Tai from an Emperor's Cup. That is pretty Chinese. Bow innovation keeping us Asian. There's more innovation than Apple. What are those? So this is our fish course. Uh, it's actually a red mullet. That's the name of the fish here. And it's inspired by Sijiu. The Chinese black beans and peppers. I'm just going black bean sauce with fish. I'm not doing pepper. Okay, I'm doing pepper. I'm gonna just do pepper then. You're just, just doing pepper. <laughs> Yo, that was really good. This is fascinating. It's a deconstruction of a very classic uh, Cantonese dim sum and snack. Char siu bao. Sounds scary, three, but let's three, do it. Three. Cheers. Hey, to the molecular char siu baos. Boom. Yo, that was... It's just like, pop in your mouth. It looks like a balloon. That was a char siu Come eat at a three-star Michelin restaurant with Michelle. Come try it with me. What's going on, everybody? We're here at PMQ. This is a brand new creative space out in the Soho district of Hong Kong. Fuck that up! This has been repurposed for cool art, and there's always something going on. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm caught in your web of lies! Hey, is this iPhone or Android? <sighs> Sorry, Dave, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. <sighs> David, are you ready to make some con candy, man? The more you run, the more you have fun. I'm with it. <laughs> How much cotton candy worth? Who oh, <laughs> was? Pretty good, though. Record breaking cotton candy manufacturing. Joining us today, we have our TV host friend from Taipei, Rima. What's up? Hello, I'm Rima from Taipei, and I'm excited to be in Hong Kong. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> Joining us, we have our new school Hong Kong socialite friend, Virginia. You guys gonna love this place. They're doing really cool stuff with Chinese food. Let's it. Stir fried beef and egg on top of quinoa. Here we have flour, crab, or sticky rice. I'ma get me a crabby patty. <laughs> uh. I like the sticky rice. And last but not least, introducing Truffle Shalom Ba. Wow, a lot of soup in there. Hey, but you had good, huh? <laughs> we're refueled, we're refreshed. On to the next spot. Cheers! 
What's going on guys? We're in the Soho district of Hong Kong and we are one of the coolest spots in the entire city, Little Bao. We're here with Taiwanese representative Rima. We're here with Aussie representative Cece. Let's go eat. All right, right here I got the pork belly bao. That's thick. It's a drunken clam with mashed potato. What? Drunken clam by the drunken master. <laughs> oh, don't hurt him. <laughs> I got the beef bao. Those buns are crazy. Eggplant salad. Oh, the balance between the pickled onion and the fatty pork belly, that's bomb. I've had drunken clams before, but never with mashed potato. It fits pretty well. I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't recognize too many names on here, but I do know ASAP Rocky. Yo, Dave, we should check out Clock and Flat. You. We might have to. We are at Clock and Flap, which is Hong Kong's largest music festival. It's a three-day music event, and I never knew Hong Kong even had this. What's going on? We're here with Doughboy, a local rapper and producer that we personally know and have worked with. I'm on a paper chase cause Superman can save the day. Yo, Doughboy, what's it like to be in the local music scene? There's a lot more that goes on in Hong Kong besides shopping and all the food and everything. The music here is popping. <laughs> And they got everything in Hong Kong, even ASAP Rocky. And now presenting the new hit single, Bung Rose and Doughboy, Never, Never Like This. This something new. Hot trendy things, this something cool. Never knew there was so much stuff for me. Spots where you chill out comfortably. Yo, in this city, we never sleep in. From the weekdays to the weekends, you never know who you gon' meet. International whole groups on the streets. I can't knock the rest, but we top the list. Yeah, HK got the depth. City so lit and it's so dope. Catch me in Sharing Wan. So ho. <laughs> yeah, see you in Hong Kong. This was such a dope trip. I really never knew that this side of Hong Kong existed. At first, we weren't in the know, but after watching this video, you guys are now in the know. So if you come and visit Hong Kong, be sure to hashtag Discover Hong Kong. Hashtag Discover Hong Kong. Hashtag Discover Hong Kong. Hashtag Discover Hong Kong. All right, thank you everybody for watching this epic video that we shot in Hong Kong. Next time, we'll see you guys here. Peace.